to a new reading vlog. So I don't know exactly how this vlog is going to go because I'm in the middle of like so many different things right now. But basically I am going to stay in a library for two nights, which I'm so excited about. It's like every book lover's dream. So I am going to be staying in this absolutely beautiful library and I'm going there with some family. I'm going to do nothing but read and relax. I'm so excited. This library is extremely old and it was actually the library of a prime minister I think at one point and yeah it's the only library I think in the entirety of Britain that you can actually stay in. So yeah, I'm staying for two nights. I'm very, very excited. So I will be going there shortly. Of course, I'm taking loads of books with me. I'm a mood reader, so I can't just take one or two. I will be taking a lot. So you guys will see me reading those during this vlog. I'm also currently still doing a 24 hour readathon challenge. So this is spread over like a few days, but basically I'm doing the timer method of timing 24 hours exactly. And every single time I read, I put the timer on. So I'm seeing how many books exactly I can read during 24 hours. And I have finished a lot of books so far. I mean, you guys will see in the vlog, but I finished all of these. Some of them I had already started. Um, but yeah, I have finished all of those so far. So I'm going to continue that during the time I'm there. I'm about halfway through time-wise. So I think I have about 11 hours left. So I will be doing that during this vlog as well. But you guys will see that video very soon. I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I'm going to the library. Very, very excited. We'll be taking you guys with me and hopefully filming lots of gorgeous clips of the library and the grounds and just my trip generally. I don't know what I'm going to be reading just yet, but I am taking a few different options with me, which I'll probably talk about when I get there. I just need to film this clip super quick because I do need to leave soon, but I have some things to unbox. So the first one I have is this Amazon package and I do think I've, well, I have ordered something, but I think it's gotten lost. So it could be that though. Um, or it could be a gift so let's see <gasps> it's a gift and it's a book that I've been wanting for so long oh my god okay I'm so excited so this is from Melissa so thank you so much Melissa and it says happy birthday so glad to see this on your list I hope you love it as much as I did so thank you Melissa so this is Broken Bonds by Jay Bree and I've heard so many good things about this on like bookstagram book talk youtube everywhere like everyone loves this book series and yeah this is the first one i love the cover i'm actually quite tempted to take this with me i might take this with me this week but we'll see i'm pretty sure melissa is one of my patrons and i saw in the discord that she posted about this series the other day so i'm so so excited because it sounded so good from the way she described it um so if you aren't that melissa then i'm sorry but i'm pretty sure you are that melissa so yeah thank you so much melissa i'm so excited because I've just heard so many good things about it. It's a romance. That's kind of all I know. And I've heard that it's just a very like addictive series. I think there's quite a few books in the series as well. But yeah, I definitely do want to read soon. So thank you so much. And then I do have another Amazon package here. Um, so I'm not really sure what this one is. Oh my goodness, stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this manga that's here is a manga I have wanted for so long and I can't get it anywhere. Amazon's like the only place that has it in stock at the moment. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is the Saviour's Book Cafe story in another world. It's basically like a bookish manga. Like, I am so excited. I have to take this with me. Like, I have to. Like, reading a book-themed manga in a friggin' library, how can I pass up that opportunity? <gasps> and it's a rumor. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see what the note says and who this is from. <gasps> this is from one of my patrons. This is from Alison. Oh my god, Alison. So yeah, this is from one of my patrons, Alison. And she did say in our Discord that she had sent me a little gift, but I was not expecting this. Um, so let me just see what the note says. So the note says, Happy birthday, Jody. Thank you for creating such a wonderful community and for being such a kind soul of Alison. Thank you so much, Alison. I'm literally just like so excited to read this. And then she also got me this book, which is part of a series that I'm actually planning to binge read. I'm planning to do like a reading series or vlog on it. And I was debating taking the first one with me, but I've decided I need to finish some other series first. Um, but this one, I think is the fourth or fifth book in the series. And this one is Clash of Three Courts by Chloe C. Penaranda. And this cover, how beautiful is this? I'm obsessed with this. 
and it always has art on the dust jacket as well like oh i'm so excited to read this series it's a fancy romance series so thank you so much and yeah allison melissa you guys are the best like this was just so so kind and thoughtful so thank you so much and for the birthday messages as well Oh, I'm just so grateful. <laughs> like, I'm so excited about these three books. Um, so definitely, definitely taking this one or with me. Maybe this one as well. And then really, really quickly, I do have three other packages. So I have this one that says Fragile on it. And it says Vanilla Moon. It's so usually when it says Vanilla Moon, it's from a publisher. This is so pretty. Oh my God. So this came with it. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm going to put that on my desk. So it came with that. So the proof is the Pomegranate Gate. I just had to say that so many times by Ariel Kaplan and this comes out on the 20th of July this year. Look how stunning this cover is as well by the way and it's so fluffy. So it's a lyrical Jewish fairy tale in a mythical 15th century Spain for fans of Naomi Novik and Shannon Chakraborty. So yes, very very excited about this. I remember hearing about this a while ago and it sounds incredible and the finished cover it's gonna be stunning i just know it so yes this was a very very nice little surprise then we have my fairy loot i think this is the adult subscription book so really quickly i'm gonna open this i need to hurry up because i still need to eat before i leave oh my god okay so i really don't know what this book could be maybe it's fox glove king by hannah Whitten. i think it could be that oh my god i was right <laughs> so this is fox glove king by hannah Whitten. it's the same author who wrote for the wolf and oh my god these three edges wow look at this braid edges so beautiful so yeah absolutely obsessed with this braid edges we do have end pages as well this is a romantic fantasy i think um oh my god under dust jacket wow okay so i'll just quickly show you this is the reverse side of the dust jacket and then the naked book has art all over it this is so stunning oh my goodness so this is what it looks like how freaking gorgeous i'm obsessed like you don't get it I'm obsessed. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Wow, the spine. Okay, yeah. I'm obsessed with that. I'm sorry I'm going so fast. But I need to leave. So, yeah, we do have that, which is a nice bit of book mail. And lastly, we have my Illumicrate Afterlight subscription. I have no idea what's in here. Um, so, this is the March box. Ooh, it comes with something. Um, so, we have this little box. Lila, really? Lila, do you really want to be on my video that badly? Okay, so we have this mug, but it's like a clear glass one. So this is what it looks like. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we have this cute little mug. So I do really, really like that. And then we do have our... Oh my god, I'm just trashing everywhere. Okay, and then we have a little glasses pouch, which looks like this. We have art card and letter from the author and then we have the book which is for her consideration by amy spaulding and this cover absolutely love that it's giving hollywood wow that's right edge of the palm tree it's so cute so i think this is a rom-com um and i think it's sapphic as well so yeah um i haven't got time to talk about <laughs> what this is about oh my god okay and it does also have this design which i'm obsessed with so yeah i will read what this is about when i get home save a fox or king um but yeah that was my really really fast unboxing of book mail now i need to decide what books i'm taking with me and i need to go and eat really quickly and pack the rest of my things and then i will be leaving i'm going to quickly stick these notes in as well so i will catch up with you guys when i get to the library <laughs>
guys so i'm at the library and this is the room look at this wallpaper i just had to show you this um i really want this for my house i know jamie would never allow it but look how stunning this wallpaper is these are all of the books that i have brought so yeah it's a lot um a lot of these i have already started but i just i finished a book last night and i don't know what i'm in the mood to read now um so i do have all of these here so we have a mix of like fantasy poetry um there's like a biography um retelling fantasy romance and then lots of manga and then i also have house of sky and breath with me whether or not i'm actually going to start it during this vlog i don't know we'll see i'm going to decide in a little bit i think for now we're just going to pop out a little walk around and go to the local village because i need to get like some water and things for the room um that sort of thing and then we'll come back and sit in the library because the library is open till 10 p.m so yeah i will be in there probably all evening and hopefully i can find a book to read um if not i'll just start off with some manga but yeah i will catch up with you guys a bit later when we come back but i just want to show you guys what books i brought because i did say i would tell you updated this vlog since yesterday yesterday we just had a really nice kind of chill evening we walked in the village we got dinner and then we did go to the library as you guys have seen and i did start and finish a book so i ended up reading this one and i talk about this in my 24 hour readathon challenge vlog so if you want to hear my full thoughts you can head to that video um i gave this four stars and i really really enjoyed it it's more of a 3.75 stars but i went up to four on goodreads 
this was such an interesting read for me it's one that i was gifted by the publisher when it first released and i requested it because i heard nam june talk about it of course and i decided i really wanted to give it a read and i was surprised by how much i could relate to some of this book it's definitely got me wondering if i need to see a psychiatrist because i think i do but yeah this is a book of this is a non-fiction book and basically follow the author and the conversations that she has with her psychiatrist and the format definitely won't be for everyone but i did enjoy it i found things in here voiced that i have thought or felt before that i thought i was totally alone in and to hear the author voice those things was just very validating and i just really was in shock like how much i could relate to it but then the second half i found a little bit boring and i couldn't really relate to so yeah i did really enjoy this it covers a lot of different things with mental health and it's definitely for me personally represents a lot of my experiences um but some things i couldn't relate to which is fine um but yeah i really enjoyed this overall and i gave it four stars like i said you can head to my other video for my full thoughts um because i'm trying to be quick recording this because these walls are really thin and i don't want anyone to hear me but yeah i don't know what my reading plans are for today i'm gonna go to the library soon um but i really don't know what i want to read i'm definitely gonna get through some manga i think and then i want to start a novel but i just don't know what and i also want to do some editing so i'm gonna see what i feel like reading um, i'm probably just gonna take everything with me in my bag and then decide what i'm gonna um, i'm gonna go and get a coffee i think and put my feet up somewhere <laughs> read some manga um so i'll update this vlog probably later but hopefully so far you're enjoying it i'm having such a nice time here it's raining outside it's gloomy i'm surrounded by books i'm just thriving like you know this place like i feel like it's gonna give me clear skin i feel like it's gonna fix my mental health i feel like it's gonna give me a new personality <laughs> like this place is just heaven like literal heaven i'm obsessed with it i never want to leave i want to live here i love it um but yeah anyways i'm gonna go because i don't want everyone to be able to hit my conversation with you right now um so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the video this far and you stick around to see some more of the library and this beautiful place and to see what i read um i'm gonna go now so goodbye Thank you.
hi guys so i just wanted to quickly update this vlog because i haven't since yesterday so i started and finished another book yesterday which was this one which is a spindle splintered by alex e harrow so this one is quite a short story um it's just over 100 pages and i've had this on my shelf for a while and i really wanted to read it and it's basically kind of like a feminist retelling of sleeping beauty but with a spin on it and it's actually full of like really really fun humor and I just really, really enjoyed it and it's a really really silly book and it's silly to the point that it's just fun and entertaining to read so like yeah is there probably loads of plot holes in this yes but it's just such a fun and just silly time that I just really really enjoyed it I actually ended up rating it four stars which I didn't expect to be given this book at all I didn't expect to like it as much as I did it was a little bit slow going at first but once I got into it like I just really really enjoyed it and thought it was very funny and just a really nice new take on like a retelling and on Sleeping Beauty and it also kind of brought together like all the different editions like there are of Sleeping Beauty and kind of meshed them together and touched upon them which I really liked and yeah it was just a really really fun little story it has lots of cool illustrations inside as well and yeah I gave this four stars and then I did pick this book back up which I started reading I think in February which is City of Thorns by C.N. Crawford and I got like 100 pages into this and then I popped it down while I started reading Serpent in the Wings of Night and then just haven't gotten to it since and I decided to pick it back up and I'm now on page 200 and I'm really really enjoying it again this story is just so easy to fall back into the characters and the world are just really easy um, I'm just having a really fun time. It's a demon kind of romance essentially and there's trials and stuff in it Which kind of felt like the Hunger Games which I liked. There's a bit of romance and I just really like our main character There's also a murder mystery. So it has a bit of everything and I'm just really really enjoying it So I'm hoping to finish this today um, But it's currently 10 to 10 in the morning and we need to check out at 10 So we're gonna check out and then I think we're gonna hang around stay in the library for a bit So I'm hoping to finish this then but I probably won't update you guys maybe till later when I get home. But I did want to film this quick update just so that you know that I have been reading. <laughs>
hi guys so as you can see i'm back home and i'm here to wrap up this vlog i am tired exhausted running on fumes just barely existing i am so tired <laughs> I literally have not slept properly for the past two nights because I was sharing a room with my nan and she snores so loud. Sorry nan if you're watching this. But yeah, I couldn't sleep. So I am just so tired, my head hurts. I feel quite frankly like I've been run over by a bus. Bruh. I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm just not with it. So, yeah. I'm feeling pretty rough right now. But I wanted to come on and wrap up this vlog. So, since I last spoke to you guys, I have finished a book. So, during my little reading retreat at the library, I finished a total of four books. I've actually finished two books since I last spoke to you guys. Now, this wasn't as much as I thought I was going to read. But I'm still super happy with what I managed to read because we did do a lot of other things um whilst we were there so I didn't spend too much time reading in fact I know I didn't spend that much time reading because while I've been filming this vlog I've still been filming my reading challenge vlog where I'm actually timing every single time I do read and totaling it up to 24 hours and seeing how much I read so I did do my timer and I think I've only like actively read for like under 10 hours the whole time we were there so not a lot but I just had such an incredible time like I just want to talk about that first before I get into the books I literally like found heaven like I found my comfort place I found world peace <laughs> like I just found like the best place ever on earth basically like I literally felt so at peace there so relaxed so safe so content like i just loved it there like i thrived there it was just such a fun time and i will now be going to this place all the time whether it be for the day or whether it be for multiple days whether it be for a week like i'm going to be going there a lot from now on so expect to see that place probably in my vlogs quite often because i just loved it so much like literally there's a reading room where you have to serve tea all day. You're surrounded by books and like there's open fireplaces and everything. Big cosy armchairs and I can just sit and read all day and drink tea. And then there's the proper library room as well where you can go and read. You can go and study. You can work. I loved working there and doing some editing there. I just loved it. And the grounds, the little graveyard to go for a walk in. Honestly, just such an incredible place and definitely one of my like favorite places now i just had such a fun time and i feel very very lucky and grateful that i got to experience such a beautiful place and that i got to experience it with some family as well which was really really nice so i'm feeling very very lucky right now yeah i'm just feeling really really like appreciative i think that's a word um so yeah anyway back to the books so I finished these four here, which might not look like much, but for me, like I'm an extremely slow reader and I really struggle with getting distracted and stuff and reading for long periods of time. So I'm so proud of myself for reading these books, guys, like honestly. Um, so the first book I started and finished, I think it was on the first day, was this book here. And I have already spoken about it earlier in the vlog. So it's I Want to Die, but I Want to Eat a Bucky. And this one is translated from Korean. It's a non-fiction and it focuses on mental health and conversations between the author and her psychiatrist. And I just really, really enjoyed this. I could relate to some parts of it and I felt very validated and seen at times. And all in all, like I just had a good time reading this. Like my reading experience was quite I, w I don't want to use the word positive because this covers a lot of dark things, obviously. But, like, yeah, it feels weird to say I enjoyed this <laughs> because of what it's about. But I did. Like, I really, really had a fun reading experience for the most part. There were parts of this that did lose me. But I always kind of expect that with books that surround mental health. Because everyone's experience is so different and individual. So I knew there'd be parts of this that I wouldn't really get. But overall, like, I really enjoyed this. And I gave it four stars. It was a low four stars, but still a four star read. Um, so very happy that I did finally get to this one. Because I've been meaning to read it since I was sent this last year. So I'm glad that I finally did read it. Then the second book I finished was this one. This is A Spindle Splintered. I read this yesterday. And I gave this 
four stars I believe or was it five stars I honestly can't remember I think it was four stars I really really enjoyed this I did not expect to love this as much as I did I thought it would be like a three star but I just really found myself like excited to read this i was reading it while i was eating at lunch and everything so i just didn't want to put it down it was just so silly but like in the best possible way like it was just so self-aware and just so stupid but so friggin fun i just really really loved it and yeah if you like retellings you'll like this if you like a humorous retelling especially one with a feminist twist you will also like this it was just so fun. I would definitely recommend this if you do like shorter stories. I love a good short story. So this was perfect for me. It was a nice blend of sci-fi fantasy, a retelling and fairy tale vibes. It was just so fun. I would still recommend this book personally. And I loved how there were so many illustrations in here. And it took like this tale and made it its own thing. It was just so good. So yeah, I did read this one. And then today I read both of these so this one i was actually already um 105 pages into this i believe and i started this in february and i put it down to start a different book and then just forgot about it so i decided i did want to finish it again and i'm so glad i did i was really enjoying it when i first picked it up but i put it down to read serpent and the wings of night and then didn't come back to it anytime soon but once I picked it back up again, I instantly was like right back in the story, right with the characters and thoroughly enjoyed it. I struggled to put it down. I read like loads yesterday, like 100 pages in one sitting, which is really good for me. And then I read the remaining like whatever, 100 and something pages today in one sitting because this book just has a writing style that's just so easy and fun. It's those kinds of books where... You can sit and read it all in one sitting very easily. Like, you don't have to think too hard about it. Like, it's just fun. It's almost like watching a movie. I don't really know if you will understand what I mean, but that's what this book felt like. And, yeah, it just didn't require any, like, brain power. Like, it was just, you know, no thoughts, head empty. Like, just good vibes. This is a good fantasy romance, but make it demonic. It's set in, like, a demon city. It has demons. There's a trial in here, which is, like, very kind of Hunger Games-esque. Like, I feel like anything with a trial now instantly reminds me of Hunger Games, which isn't really fair. But, yeah, if you like trials and books, then that's in here. It's not a huge part, but it was fun. Um, So, there is action in here, banter. The main character is just a badass. Like, I just love her. And it's just such a fun book. And there is a little bit of spice in here. Well, there's, like sort of saucy scenes let's call it that and then there's a bit of spice towards the end so there's not full spice in this one but i'm pretty sure in the next book there probably will be um but yeah i gave this five stars it's a low five stars it's more of like a 4.75 stars rounded up to five but i just had such a fun time and the fact that this was just so like fast paced and easy to read i just didn't want to give it any lower than that on goodreads so i did give it five stars dn crawford has definitely become like a new favorite of mine not an absolute favorite not on the same level as sarah j mass but it's definitely an author whose books like every book i've read by this author so far i mean albeit two i really really enjoyed and i just like her writing style so i will definitely be continuing to read books by this author in fact i have the second book here because this ends on such a freaking cliffhanger i threw this book down in the sitting room and was like no like it can't end like that i need book two and the fact that i knew i had it sitting at home but i couldn't start it right away was just it was soul crushing honestly guys like oh but i'm gonna start this i think today um which is lord of embers this one's actually shorter so we'll see um but i think i am actually going to start this because i'm just really excited and i want to know what happens next so yeah there was a big plot twist towards the end of that book really liked it and then once i finished that i read this manga which was the savior's book cafe story in another world i was gifted this at the start of the vlog by one of my patrons allison if you were watching the beginning of the vlog which i'm sure you were to get to this point um and i decided to take it with me and i read it today and i loved it and i loved it so much that rather than order them through work and get my discount so i could have it tomorrow <laughs> I ordered two and three off Amazon because they will arrive tomorrow and I can just binge my way through those volumes. I didn't realise there were so many volumes out of this either so I'm definitely going to order all the rest of the volumes because this is just such a cosy manga. I love it so much. It's sat in a book cafe. Our main character gets thrust into this new world where she has magical abilities and she is living in a book cafe and we have 
And this guy who's like the head of the guard or the knights or something who's coming into her cafe who's also a bookworm and I guess a romance is going to ensue somewhere. Um, it's just really, really fun. I loved it. It's very cozy. A nice cozy story and I'm excited to read the rest of these. So I gave this five stars. Um, so yeah, these are all the books that I did finish, which is very, very good for me. I'm very, very happy that I read these. Um, I do wish I'd gotten through some more manga, but I did focus on books instead. I was hoping to read all of the volumes of Chainsaw Man I have left, but I didn't end up doing that. So that will be coming up probably in another vlog, I guess. I also read these towards my 24 hour reading challenge video that I'm doing. So yeah, I've actually finished <laughs> so many books for that challenge. I am so shocked. Um, but I'm really proud of myself and it feels good to be reading loads of books. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this stunning place with me, hearing the books that I read and what I thought of them and just enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, it's particularly like in this library or me just like going and staying in places and then vlogging it, let me know because I would love to do some more like this. It was just really fun and I like going on trips, I've decided like... I love going on little cozy trips where I just kind of stay in one place. Like, it's just fun. So, yeah, let me know if you like this. Leave a book emoji or a dark academia emoji in the comments because I feel like the library gave dark academia. Um, leave one of those emojis in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. And if you did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know what kind of videos you guys like the most. And if you haven't already subscribed and you're new here feel free to subscribe. Join the family, you know, we're all very, very nice people here. So feel free to join here, enjoy your stay. Um, I also have a Patreon for those of you who would like extra content from me. So you'll find photos, live shows, reading vlogs, buddy reads, readathons, a Discord, all that kind of stuff is all over on my Patreon. So you can find that link down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're all safe and well. Hope you're reading lots of good books. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.